statement. So I've found this website where there are, uh, so I think everybody is here. Should I start with that? Or should I yes, wait sir. for, yes, okay, right. So let me share this screen with you, okay. Can you see it now? Yes, sir. Yes? Yes, sir. Okay, now if you see, this is a, a, a very good site. I really liked it because there are so many persons. If you see, can you see my cursor, this green cursor? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So see, this is like top rated personal statement. Okay, gap ear personal statement, right? Okay, like you take a gap after finishing your uh, uh, degree, okay, uh, international student personal statement, okay, mature student personal statement, you can go and search it, whatever you like, postgraduate uh, personal statement or personal statement by university, university statement editing, there are other uh, things, but uh, let, let me read this one, okay, uh, top rated personal statements. Now, let, let's found this one if there is uh, we should not read this economic uh, economics person statement this one okay it is kind of relating to your uh, field as well history of art person statement i did not find the the literature one or the linguistics okay there was one this one if you see my cursor teacher training person statement do you see that yes sir Okay, so yes, you sir. can you can go and read few. Okay, yes, it will have it will give you a better idea what to exclude or what to include. So let me pick this one. Okay, this uh, uh, the history of art. Okay, now can you see it? Can you see? Yes. It? yes. Yes. Now, if yes. you see the description, uh, if you see this description, uh, this is. Uh, uh, a personal statement as a mature student since uh, I will be turning soon 26. I have offers from all the universities I wanted to, I wanted and I chose York. So this is a personal statement that this person has written and uh, uh, he got even uh, offers from almost all the universities she applied to. So I think this one is, the, is, a, is a very good example. So do you want me to read it? Okay. I will read it and we will read paragraphs different in our news. Hello. Can you see it? Can you read it? Is it fine? It is clear. Yes, yes sir. sir. Or should I zoom yes, in? Yes. It's fine, sir. Okay. So fine now, sir. Now do you know this subject history of art? So let let me read it and uh, then we'll talk about it, that what did you understand or if you have any questions. So history of art is the, is the door to artistic, cultural, historical and personal enrichment. Uh, with motiva with motiva motivation and effort, it can also lead to truly uh, interesting career opportunities. Okay, most uh, notably, as far as I'm concerned, fine art uh, auctioneer, it is one of the most appealing and adverse subject you can work with as it expresses itself through uh, various uh, supports. Uh, it allows you to gain access to culture, cu cult uh, cultures throughout the world, uh, their beliefs and history through a single still image, a sculpture or even a white canvas. Do you see the first paragraph? It's just a beginning, like an introductory paragraph about the subject. And she also mentioned uh, um, uh, whatever she is doing right now. So uh, at the time, she's saying is that she's uh, working as a uh, this art uh, auctioneer, right? She is still working, and she is saying that it is it can it, there are opportunities like career opportunities in this field. Do you understand it? It is very clear, uh, and, and she's quite clear about uh, what she is going to pick as a career. Art is an uncompromised, uh, satirical, and beautiful gateway to the world and the history of uh, mankind. Art is not only beautiful, choking, impressing, impressive, or um, aesthetical. Art is a testimony, testimony 
uh, of uh, historical patrimony and this is one of the main reason I want to study um, uh, history of art. See, it's like in the second paragraph, uh, she's saying it that she's quite clear about this uh, history of uh, art. She has the knowledge as well. She is saying that through this knowledge, I can know about the cultures or, uh, uh, or, or the beliefs or, or the, the history of uh, different uh, uh, people or different uh, places or different cultures. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. So, wait a second. Okay, if you don't understand anything, you can ask me, okay? My interest in this subject started, see, yesterday we talked about this interest. So she uh, or he, I don't know whether it's he or she, so my interest in this in the subject started in my school years during which I obtained uh, outside, outstanding grades. Okay, let me admit, I told you, please be on time because once we start a lecture, it will be very difficult to like admit them when they come late. Okay, so see, uh, my interest in this subject started in my school years during which I obtained outstanding grades in history. See, this is, uh, she's also talking about uh, her interest, okay, uh, and her grade as well, uh, art and literature. My passion for the subject uh, followed out in my social life as I attended weekly culture seminars organized by, uh, this is the name, okay, uh, for personal reasons, I decided not to uh, not go to university after completing my, um, what is this, uh, maybe it's a, a, a metric or a second year in the French, right? Yes. But this did not affect my interest. In, in my spare time, I developed a great enthusiasm for photography. My grandfather taught me how to develop pictures when I was 13 and I was at once attracted to the mixture of art and information as uh, captured by the legendary uh, 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 Cartier uh, Bresson, right? Maybe this, this, this is a, a photographer, right? So she, like that photographer uh, kind of uh, inspired her or him. Furthermore, being able to set up uh, set um, step away from the world and become more than a spectator was a welcome relief from a hard day's work. Do you understand this one? Do you get it? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. yes. during my professional experience, I was fortunate even to be involved in the. See, yesterday what we talked about it. So, see, every question has a different paragraph you see in the first one she talked about her interest and now she's talking about the professional experience see during my professional experience i was fortunate uh, enough to be involved in the again the monte carlo exhibition organized in monaco, monaco during the summer of uh, 2005 by contributing to the research and drafting of the press uh, book. So she was working with the press book and she was uh, what researching and making drafts for that book. This was a challenging and demanding task, which involved to compiling and summarizing the content of the exhibition show, right? Exhibition or show. So she was writing summaries about that show or uh, that exhibition. I thoroughly enjoyed carrying out in, uh, in an in-depth study of the artist as uh, revealed by the photo phot photographs exposed to the public, which were taken uh, during the autumn he spent in Monaco, okay? This is a place, I think, in, in France, right? See, uh, recently, I've been fortunate enough to work as assistant to Valera, whatever the name is, two nights a week. So she is uh, working with this uh, person, okay, as an assistant, which I believe will uh, greatly expand my artistic horizon. Do you understand it? 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, so sir. she is explaining her work experience. Yes. Yeah, so if you remember yesterday what we talked about it, she has mentioned it in a different paragraph, and it is quite clear, right? Outside. So see, she's also she's talking about her extracurricular activities or 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 interests in a different paragraph. Outside of art, I very much enjoy music, including blues, uh, folk, rock, and jazz music. Right during my professional career. I have had the good for fortune uh, to be involved in various radio uh, and music magazine based projects, uh, culminating in, uh, in an interview with Frank Black. Okay, it's a musician. So she uh, or he, I don't know whether it's she or he. So uh, she uh, had an interview with this uh, Frank Black. Okay, over a cup of uh, tea after the uh, Pexies concert. Again, this is a band in six, four, less bands. I try to attend concert as often as possible as I enjoy a combination of the enthusiasm and spectacle with the music that create the show. I'm also very much a travel enthusiast and recently traveled around South Africa. Uh, on my travels, I learned Spanish. See, she's talking about these uh, uh, skills, okay, these soft skills, which she just acquired from that place where she went. So I learned Spanish, giving my firsthand insight into a various foreign cultures. And the last one is, all this considered, I would like to make uh, art a great part of my life and turn my passion for the subject into a career like this is her patient this is her like she likes this subjects and now she wants to turn it into a career i am i uh, aim to work in a auction house as a fine art specialist that is her future goal right we talked about it yesterday you remember it right right Yes, sir. Career yes, sir. Mission. Okay. As a mature student, I can truly benefit from the cultural background I acquired through my personal and professional activities and become a successful student. I realize I still have so much to learn and discover, and I believe that an undergraduate course in history of art uh, presents me with the perfect opportunity to achieve my goals. So see, this is a very concise, very clear, right? Uh, kind of a personal statement. So this should be a model, right? You can have this in your mind and then you write about it because yesterday uh, you sent me, somebody sent me this one personal statement. And uh, I remember I told you to, to tell me a story, but if you cannot uh, precise it or concise it, it will be boring, remember. So yesterday, whatever you have, uh, somebody, I, I, you already told me that I should not share it. So I don't know how to talk about it. I cannot name, or enact, even if you allow me, I can um, display it over here and we can talk about those uh, mistakes that you have uh, made. Do you get it? So do you yes, want to sir. ask, is there anything that you cannot, uh, like if it's not clear, let's talk about it in detail now, right? So how to write introduction, uh, how to change sir? paragraphs. Uh, yes. Sir, I sent you my personal statement. It was a draft, rough draft. Right. Which one? Um, What's your I, name? I, uh, Anosha Khan. Yes, yes. I read that one. So see, uh, I... If you want me to share it with them, can I share it with them? Um, no. Sure. Okay. Okay. Huh? Yes, yes. Okay. So uh, you also wrote, like you wrote this, uh, this uh, uh, about your childhood that you started, that, that you read books and your mother used to read it to you. You remember, you, you wrote that. Yes, yes. So see, that yes, was I... like, it was fine. You can um, write a story like this. But if you remember, I told you that it should be concise. It should be in one paragraph. You wrote the same thing in just like three or four paragraphs. It should not, 
you should not write about one idea in three or four paragraphs so you yes, should write okay. it in one just one paragraph got it uh, answer the different questions uh, in different paragraphs and have the same idea yes in what paragraph yes. okay yes because changing a paragraph is like very very important that when you have to change a paragraph so okay okay ha huh. is there anything so okay let me read this one okay wait a second so yes if you see this uh, there there are two ways to write this person statement many people write a person statement as as if they are writing essay okay there is another one there is another way to tell a story so if you see this is a, she is telling us a story right about her uh, about her granddad that how she developed this interest because when she was 13 years old uh, her granddad there is some somewhere see her granddad taught uh, her how to develop pictures and that was the time that she started uh, Uh, liking this art do you get it so yes okay so is you read this first uh, introduction and tell me uh, or ask me question that if you want to write how would you write it you can compare your introduction with this one this is just like uh, if you see the first one is a journal sentence this is uh, uh, the rule of uh, writing a paragraph is that you just write a journal sentence see this one is just a journal sentence okay that uh, history of art is the is the door to artistic cultural historical and personal achievement and now the rest of the sentences are kind of uh, supporting the first one okay with motivation efforts i can also lead to and then again this one is that it can also be a uh, uh, be a good career uh, opportunity right so you can convert this uh, interest that this is a very interesting subject and you can also have a very interesting uh, career opportunities like people are very lucky that uh, they find certain jobs which they like remember this thing do you agree with me uh, yes, sir i have a question sir. yes <clears throat> ask me hmm. sir can we talk about the scope of a subject in introduction yes uh, the scope yes it, it 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 should be in one sentence or two remember you should not give it one three four five six sentences or the whole paragraph so if you see this is the scope of the subject see this whatever i have underlined this is the scope of the subject that it can be truly an interesting career opportunity no sir Do i mean by giving examples sir various so, examples like uh, can you give me any example like how hello can you hear me uh, yes sir for example by doing be saying that we can uh, become a lecturer or uh, can uh, do uh, or we can do Uh, we can prepare ourselves for css or uh, we can uh, become a translator the, that kind of stuff sir yes of course so it's it, it, so yes yes of course you can do that but if you read this one truly interesting career opportunities everything is now included in this one that is the way that you will write it concise otherwise if you give all these details uh, it will be very lengthy then remember it so in order to write concise this is the trick that how can you write just the 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 whole paragraph in just one sentence so this person has already mentioned the scope in just one or three in one line see truly interesting career opportunity and she also okay. gave the example if you see this is the example that uh, yes. most notably as far as she is uh, concerned uh she is a fine art uh, auctioneer right she is already having 
or holding a position and that is fine art auctioneer do you get it yes sir sir i think yeah. she hasn't answered all of the questions that we studied yesterday yes. probably that's why hours was very long you yeah. tried to answer every question yes so that yes hello sir ji sir hello hello sir okay okay so uh, yes let's let's do it uh, from the start okay so you will read your uh, personal statement okay and you will see where is your topical sentence and where are the other supporting sentences so if you see here uh, this one that the one i will highlight okay so this is just a general sentence about this uh, uh, this uh, subject and then the rest all the rest are just like supporting the first one so see this one is supporting it is um, uh, one of the most appealing and adverse subject you can so see this is also the scope you just mention it so this is another example kind of uh, see do you see it and every yes, sentence sir. is well connected see the um, the second sentence is supporting the first one okay the 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 third one is supporting the second one it allows you to gain access to culture cultures throughout the world their beliefs and history through a single still image and see how beautifully uh, this person has uh, uh, supported the 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 first sentence uh, the first topical sentence this one see that it gives you uh that like you can know about the different beliefs and uh, history through just a single image see uh, what is this uh, history of art is that what they do is that they study these different uh, arts right D different objects like for example sculpture when you study it so you know about the people who have like made it 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 takes you like thousand years back and you know about those people about their culture about their beliefs and things like that so got it now if you see this uh, another one okay art is an un uh, uncompromised satirical and beautiful gateway to the world and the history of mankind art is not only beautiful choking impressive or uh, aesthetical art is a testimony of uh, uh, historical patrimony and this is one of the main reason i want to study uh, history of art so this paragraph is again she is just uh, emphasizing it that she is very clear about this subject that she likes it and it is worth studying right it is just it is uh, helping her in her career and as a person she can get a lot of knowledge through this subject do you understand yes sir yes sir and, and remember whenever you say like i always give this example to my students that whenever you write a sentence remember you should not uh, uh, leave it as as it is you have to uh, give supporting arguments like for example if you write about uh, any person right like in 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 school or in these first year second year when you learn this uh, essay writing okay and uh, the 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 examiner asks you to write an essay about kadyazam right so if you write about kadyazam and if you say he is a hard working so you have to write one paragraph on this one you have to give suppose so many people they just write all the qualities and then they don't support it so the assignment the personal statement you sent me you have mentioned uh, your uh, uh, qualities but you didn't give me any supporting argument to that right like for example see my interest is this in the subject started in the school years during which i obtained outstanding grades in history art and literature my passion for the subject uh, followed out uh, into my social life as i attended weekly culture seminars organized now this is very important see my passion for the subject followed out into my social life now if i see remember one more thing is that whenever you apply for these foreign scholarships uh, they will read you a personal statement but they can also visit your facebook like uh, i can judge you from uh, your facebook facebook account 
So like, for example, you are studying literature and you have never ever like you post these poems on your wall. So it means that you really like the subject, truly like the subject. Do you understand what I'm saying? She is not only studying it in the school or in the university. After university, she attends uh, these seminars or workshop. Uh, like it is not a compulsion. She is just doing it because she likes it. Do you get it? So this is a very supporting argument that she likes the subject, right? Or this is her interest. Got it. Yes, for, sir. Okay, sir. For, for, so sir, in my personal statement, I mentioned all these things, I think. Yes. So in the beginning, I told you that it was good. It was quite good. I read uh, you a one, okay? And it was not bad. Even I messaged you. Uh, for personal reason, I decided not to uh, not go to university after completing my this degree. But um, this did not affect my interest in art, right? Uh, in my spare time, so she, this is a kind of, a, see, this is, a, yesterday somebody asked me that, uh, I think in, in a message they asked me or, Yesterday class, they asked me that, can we write our failures? Somebody asked me that. Who was that? I, uh, Iman did, I guess. Yes. So you can write your, uh, about your weaknesses, okay? But if you can say it in a positive way, like for example, in interviews, many interviewers will ask you, about your strength and you know about your strength but there are people that they will ask you about your uh, uh, weaknesses and uh, they like if you tell them that my weakness is that I'm very lazy okay they will never ever hire you but if you tell them that my weakness is that uh, I'm, a, I'm really a very hard working and I'm so dedicated that I do not uh, get uh, time for my family like or for myself, that I'm such a hard working person that when I start something, okay, so then I do not like it, it affects my sleeping. So then it is kind of a, a, a positive thing. So the, so this is a negative one that uh, for personal reason, I, so she, for her personal reason, she decided not to go to university after completing this uh, degree, but this did not affect my interest in art. So she say, said it, but this, this did not uh, affect uh, her interest in arts. Do you get it? In my yes, spare sir. time, I developed a great enthusiasm for photography. Okay, now this photography is connected to her field, right? This is very much relating to one another, right? My grandfather, and then she uh, mentioned a story, but that is not a very lengthy story. It is, if it is a lengthy, then you will get bored, remember? So my grandfather taught me how to develop pictures when I was 13, and I was at once attracted to the mixture of art and information as uh, captured by this legendary photographer, right? Furthermore, being able to uh, step away from, and, and if you see this, what what is this sentence telling us? Furthermore, being able to step away from the world and become more than a spectator was a welcome relief from a hard day's work. What does it tell us? Can you answer me this one? So it means that she took her interests further and tried to uh, make it more professional. Uh, no. Read this again. Sir, uh, actually, she's telling that uh, it is her passion. And when she did so, uh, she released all of her worries of the day and she got uh, uh, happy at heart. Very good. Excellent. That her passion is something that relaxes her. Exactly. Very good. Excellent. So this is the advantage uh, that uh, her subject is also a fun, right? Okay. During my uh, professional uh, experience... Uh, G. Uh, she's suggesting that it's not just a subject for her. It's not just the academic part of it. It is also a part of her life. And she, uh, in fact, indulges it in her, um, mean, uh, in her free time. 
Yes, of course. Yes. So if you take your subject or your interest this way, you will definitely be good at it. Right? If you like something, okay, I mean, this is something that you will always be good at that thing. So during my professional experience, I was fortunate enough to uh, be involved in the, and now she, she says that she's giving all the evidences that, and you see these names, why she mentioned all these names? Can you tell me? That are, and this, the, the, all the, the, the details that she uh, was involved in these exhibition and uh, so why she gave all this kind of detail in in order Sir, to make it's the concrete. evidence for her credentials yes. so this is the this is concreteness that you bring in your writing by giving solid reasons and evidences right so you you need to uh, convince a person when you say uh, many people i mean you, you you will write it like this uh, during my professional experience i was fortunate uh, enough to be involved in different uh, exhibitions see now that is not very concrete once you give the name and the year and the date right so it, it makes it very concrete by contributing to the research and drafting of personal book so see this one this is a quality okay when you do the research and draft so she also have this uh, kind of extra or, or, or academic. This is the academic. Somebody asked me that, how should we write academic skills? So this is your academic skills that you research and draft. Uh, and she, she already did it. Okay. This was a challenging and demanding task and which involved compiling and summarizing uh, content, uh, content of the exhibition. So she was writing these summaries of different shows or exhibitions. Somebody yesterday told me that she was the part of a, a, a book club in uh, here at Edwards College. Who was that? Yes, uh, it was me, sir. So whatever you were doing me. that, uh, <laughs> what were you doing in that? Uh, like, what was your uh, position okay and what were you doing in that uh... well, i was hosting the book club uh, for the last uh, session yes yeah. so like you should write it in your uh, personal statement did you write it i did write it sir okay so i'll go through it again okay i mean yesterday i was like a little bit busy so i just uh, go through few okay i thoroughly enjoyed carrying out a an in-depth study of the artist okay so that that is her experience as revealed by the photographs exposed to the public which were taken during the autumn he spent in this place right recently i have been fortunate enough to work as assistant uh, to this again um, artist who uh, two nights a week so she see uh, she works with him as assistant just for two weeks two nights a week which I believe will greatly expand my artistic horizon. Okay, so, and this, another paragraph, if you see outside, so this, this is again the interest or the extracurricular activities that she enjoys. This is interest, that she enjoys music and she has uh, 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 experience that she has uh, attended different type of concerts and uh, she was also a part or, or involved in various radio and music magazine based projects. She also worked in that. Okay. Uh, and the, the highest point was that she interviewed this uh, singer. Okay. Uh, culminating means the, 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 the highest, like of all uh, the important, th the, the highest point or the climax kind of uh, was that when she, I interviewed this uh, musician okay uh, over a cup of uh, tea after and this is the concerts that she attended and she really liked it and then so in this paragraph if you see she has mentioned uh, two int uh, two interests one is this one okay the the music and then she says that I'm also very, see this one. Now, if you ask me this, I just told you that you have to mention two, uh, one idea in one paragraph, but here 
this is one idea that all the interests, but she has only mentioned true interests. So the second one is I'm also very much travel enthusiast. What is enthusiast and recently traveled around the uh, around South Africa. So this is and on so, so someone who is interested in something or is excited. Travel enthusiast is something so? like a passion for extreme passion for something. So can I ask something? So she yes. was passionate to travel. Yes, she was. Oh, so kind, yes, is. she loved traveling, and she was very uh, devoted towards it. Okay, she has. She was like uh, kind of uh, addicted to it. Oh huh? yes. Sir. Yeah. She yeah. has actually uh, taken one paragraph to mention her interests, and she has mentioned two of them. Yeah. And I personally think one of them is related to her. Um, uh, the, the subject arts, uh, music is related to arts, and one is different. But what if somebody which has a, a lot which of is, interest? Which one is different? Which one I is think different? Traveling is a no, little bit different from. No, this. no. If you are talking about art uh, of history, traveling is very, very important. You some like you read it's in the book. That is. G. That is just two of them, and she has so, uh, summarized them. What if some uh, someone has more to offer, and all yes, of them are related? Uh, yes, are, all but, of them are but, in accordance with the yes, you can you can mention you can mention it if you can give the 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 reasons or the evidence for this. Now you see, you said it right, like this one, and look at this sentence. My travel uh, on my travels, I learned Spanish. So see, one advantage giving me a first hand insight into the various foreign cultures so now this uh, 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 interest she connected it to the subject see the foreign cultures it gave me it gave her first hand insight into the into foreign or different kind of cultures so she that is very well connected okay she has already done that got it Right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Makes sense. So see, uh, and like if you have so many interests and that is connected, so you cannot mention all. You cannot mention like ten. You have to mention one or two or three, not more than that, because uh, it's you cannot. Uh, I mean, write so many words here. All this considered, I would uh, make to. I would like to make art as a great part of my life and turn my passion. For the subject into uh, a career, uh, I aim to work uh, in an auction house. Okay, so see, this is her future planning. She's talking about that she what she will be doing. Okay, as a fine art specialist, and she also know the position that what she will be doing on that uh, auction house. So she will be a fine art specialist. As a mature student, I can truly benefit from the culture background I acquired through my personal and professional activities. So see, uh, this is you read this one again. I can truly benefit from the culture background I acquired through my personal and pers uh, professional activities and become a successful student. I realize I still have so much to learn. And look at this one. This one is again very important. See the last one. I realize I still have so much to learn and discover. And I believe that an undergraduate uh, course in history of art present me with the perfect opportunity to achieve my goals. So this one, if you say there are like if you mention all your qualities and you don't write this sentence. So why will I give you admission? Because you know everything. So if you mention this one, I really still have so much to learn. So there is still a space, okay, and that she can learn more. Do you get it? I think you have now a better idea. This is a well concise. Yes. Okay. A yes, complete, sir. Yes, sir. Um, and uh, so one thing is that I should uh, mention it over here is that uh, it will help you in other things, whatever we'll be doing, like report writing or proposal writing, or uh, there are uh, other things that research paper. So let me tell you these few things, okay? That you should always, uh, or if you're writing even an essay, okay? 
there are these uh, seven seas okay have you ever heard about seven seas huh do you know seven seas hello no sir okay no so, sir no like sir, seven uh, yes yes i think they were uh, they were tablets i think i have used tablets yes yes <laughs> no seven uh, seven means like uh, <laughs> seven c's is that there are seven words that starts with the c okay right okay okay and number one is uh, like for example uh, uh, correctness okay correctness uh, completeness okay uh, and uh, concreteness okay you can write it okay or uh, clarity okay uh so whenever you write something it should have all these qualities and if it has all these qualities uh it will be very effective remember right so what i just said uh, completeness concreteness clarity and uh consideration correctness yes correctness and consideration right mm wait let me type it and then uh, courtesy okay but that is uh, you cannot uh, use it in uh, essay okay so how many conciseness okay conciseness is very important do you know what conciseness means huh? to yes, brief sir. yes sir, uh, uh, short but uh, covering uh, enough of the aspects or whatever they are trying to tell yes the summary the pressy writing you did you have done that one and uh, correctness Previous what answer. is correctness the uh, grammaticality yes language yes that there should be no grammatical mistakes yes you should use uh, sentences which are well formed yes like without grammatical mistake like there should be no grammatical errors or mistakes got it so these seven c's let me yes so c and concreteness you know what concreteness means no, your ideas should be valid providing, sir providing evidences and uh, testimonies solid reasoning yes solid reasoning and that can make you a writing uh, concrete okay so the cohesion between paragraphs and uh, different ideas yes just give me a minute right so what is completeness what is completeness and it should be complete okay what's you... the point of saying that matlab we know it should be complete <laughs> yes let me tell you okay uh can you see on your sure. screen okay. yes yeah, sir uh clarity okay and uh, conciseness And sir why don't you just share the link of that website in the group yes sir you can search it right you can write it in google okay and search it okay. so see this uh, correctness uh, means that there should be no grammatical mistakes right that is the first thing if there is, there is grammatical mistakes okay people will not even read it so it's useless and the second one is completeness means that whatever you say okay you should not uh again you should give uh, reasons to to uh to to support that argument like for example when you say well i'm well talented i'm very smart i'm very intelligent i'm very hard working and that's it now you have to give you have to say it uh, complete it like you have to give examples to that and clarity means that 
um, a paragraph clarity is that like for example you should not include two three ideas in one paragraph you should not uh, use uh, you should use familiar words remember familiar words that uh, do you know what familiar words are like you should not use words which has uh, double meaning or conventional meaning okay like for example there clear are, meaning yes clear so clarity how can you bring clarity is by using familiar words familiar sentence structures if you many people ask me that um, uh, write a letter for them and they ask me that sir use uh, uh, difficult words now there is no need to use difficult words remember this thing so in order to bring clarity you should always use familiar words familiar sentence structure and conciseness you know what conciseness means is to the point short but this is a skill remember it's not just like you say that i will write concise if you write concise if you try to write concise and if you don't know the rules of grammar uh, it will be incomplete later on right so uh, and then what is the last one is uh, the correctness so i wrote correctness yes. two times okay so the one is concreteness okay yes, yes. this one is concreteness okay sir uh, is there anything you want to ask me so you can go and uh, have uh, read this one or compare your ones with this one and see uh, whether how can you make it uh, effective right uh, sir i think can't always be concrete you tell me shamas how but so for example it's have not you, always that you have to prove a point by good. giving have you have you things. have you read shakespeare's drama hamlet do you know what yes, suspension uh, of no. disbelief is no you don't know it right seriously uh, it's a, a lit literature term suspension of disbelief is that whatever you write okay whatever you say uh, there are, i mean for example people will not believe it like for example i can give you a very simple example of the spider man movie have you watched a spider man movie yes now we yes, don't sir. believe it yes sir do like do such things happen in real life no never ever no. but the writer the director the way they present it we don't laugh why because they make it so concrete that we start believing in it there are people that they are very good in uh, conveying these concrete messages but if you see if the if if pakistani movies if you see if you pick just a pakistani movie that there is a person and that he is like uh, catching the bullets or for example even if he is crying if somebody is dead and that person comes and cry and the person wakes up okay and you start laughing at them why is because of the director that he cannot convey that message uh, uh, like with concreteness but if you know how to do that so like things that happen in tamil movies yes you you can there are like i just give you an example is that hamlet also have these uh, uh, like if you see the hamlet story starts with the goose right that uh, hamlet meets his father who is already dead and he comes and tells him that you are uh, that your uncle my brother has killed me so that people will not believe it but the writer has like the, the mentioned it in such a way that we start believing he he kind of uh, suspend your disbelief and you start believing in those things so well you can make it concrete or if you can't then don't mention it like why we do not tell dreams to everybody because dreams our dreams are always uh, uh, very abstract we cannot uh, tell it to people because we think that uh, they will laugh at us because we are unable to give them concrete uh, examples or evidence or solid reasons do you understand what i'm saying yes sir yes sir but then but then there are these yes, people sir. that that even when they tell you uh, something which is abstract but they tell it in such a way that we start believing it and we start seeing it okay 
So yes, you can say it if if you, there should be. So these three things, okay, it should be complete, it should be concise, it should be clear, okay, and it should be uh, correct. That is the uh, the four or five I just told you. The rest, uh, the courtesy and the consideration is not included in here. You can include it that in later writing or other stuff. So, is there anything you want to ask me? So today you have. Uh, Sir, I still. Yes. I still don't uh, really understand the concept of completeness. Yes. Okay. Completeness means this. Um, it's very simple. Just I just told you, and you laughed that uh, completeness means to complete. Like complete means that if you are writing about personal statement, whatever we, whatever your purpose is, that you have write, you have to write about your skills. You have to write about your pro like write about your professional skills. You have to write about your degree. Okay and your future planning and how can it uh, benefit you in the future those three four things must be there if uh, you just exclude and you don't write about your interest it's incomplete right the personal statement cannot be complete unless you talk about your professional uh, skills or academic skills or uh, interest that is very important for this uh, personal statement do you understand Yes, sir. Yes, like, sir. Like, for example, if you send me a message, right, or you invite me to a, uh, to, to, to a function, okay, and you mention the, the address, okay, everything, but you don't mention the time, it means that it is not uh, complete. So sometimes you leave out certain things uh, and which leaves the message incomplete. So completeness means this. right yes sir yes sir. Yes, sir. so okay so is it enough i think or yes. if you want to ask yes sir, sir we got Remember. the idea of now writing a personal statement no uh, no still if it's not no it's you should go and read these other uh, personal statement i cannot read them all uh, like for example you can uh, search it here, uh, this top uh, rated uh, like this one, okay? Uh, this one must be relating. Yesterday, somebody said that she, he or she wanted to become or wants to become a teacher. So this is teacher training personal statement. And uh, this uh, one person asked me uh, that uh, uh, to help her in personal statement because she thinks it's very important. Of course, it is important. Remember, there are so many scholarships it that you me, can. Sir. Yes. So remember, I will even send you the links that there are certain scholarships that if you just write a personal statement, okay, the, they can uh, they can give you a scholarship and you can go and study abroad. Seriously, this there are plenty of scholarships, but the the only thing is that you need to write a person and a personal statement will help you. Uh, uh, get the interview otherwise they will not even call you for the interview so yes so you read all these Sir, any homework for today G? any homework for today like till the next week yes this is your homework that you will write this personal statement the final version and i'll give you marks for it remember like i have 40 marks it internal 40 marks so we don't know about our midterms that when it will be or we cannot, I cannot take presentations or, uh, so the, these are, uh, this will, uh, like I'll give you marks on the basis of these assignments. So please do um, those, these assignments that I give you, okay? So your assignment is to write a clear, concrete, the final uh, personal statement and then send it to me. Got it? Yes, okay, sir. So please don't mark it on the basis of the first draft. No, not first draft. Uh, you send me the, the, the final one. Okay, so you can send me till uh, Sunday. You can send me on, like, this is, I, I think you have almost four or five days. Yes, so, sir. So I think it's enough to write a personal statement. So you just write it, and if you have any question, you can ask me. 